Ladies and gents, welcome to the Gaming Apocalypse. I'm Rafe, and this is the definitive edition of Telltale's The Walking Dead. The final season, episode three. And we're coming up to what looks like it's going to be a fairly action-packed finale. Before we jump into it, though, two quick reminders. First, if you're not already, hit the subscribe button and use the notification bell. That way you know whenever I upload videos. Secondly, quick reminder that you are an awesome person. So, be awesome to others. Okay? Alright, let's jump in and see how this episode is going to turn out. And see if we get to finally put Lily down like we should have in Season 1. I've known Clementine since before this all started. She'll come around. You'll come around too, once you see what we have to offer. Plenty of food, comfortable beds for you and Glenn. Found one you can more even over the docks. Is that ten? Ten! What is Ten doing here? You were supposed to stay back, Tennessee, you moron. Did you get lost? Ma'am! He wasn't alone. I got something else to show you. This way. this in the herd. No wonder there were so many walkers. Must have thought you were clever leading those walkers here. Or was that Clementine's idea? <laughs> Nothing to say. You don't fucking scare me. <sighs> is that so? Force your ways onto others. Because you're afraid. Because you're weak. I give my people a cause to fight for. Don't listen to her, AJ. All they do is... The thing about people like him, AJ, is that they're too broken to fit into a community. They won't fight for anyone but themselves. <laughs> Kill it. No! Fuck! Easy there, Ten. Don't hurt him. Just stop hurting people. Please. Shooter. Oh, Ten's gonna. Why don't we all just take a breath, all right? Give me my friends back. Put down the gun. Let them go. All of us. Or Ten. Or else. No, she's gonna shoot you in the back of the head, dude. Fine. Go ahead then. Do it. Save your friends. That's what you came here to do, isn't it? See, AJ would actually do it. Tennessee won't. Oh, I see. You came here to cry. Tim. Looks like you're not a soldier either. Please, don't! No! Get up, get up, get up. I gouge, I gouge. Come on, Clementine. Oh. <laughs> Nicely done, but at the same time, I'm kind of impressed that Lily was capable of taking that kind of pain. The way that's bleeding. Do it, AJ. AJ, wait! I give up. I will give up. Put down the gun. I'll let everyone leave. My crew and I will leave. We won't bother you anymore. Oh. 
AJ! She's not a threat. Lower the gun. You weren't down there. You didn't see what she did. She cut my friend's tongue out. <laughs> you don't have to do this, please! It's a trick! Don't you fucking dare, AJ! Just give me the gun. You can't let her hurt anyone else. I don't want to die! Do it, AJ! Yeah. I'm sorry for the future effects on AJ. I'm sorry that James is unhappy about it. Okay, yeah, you, you didn't need to waste the entire magazine on her. But in this situation, yeah. Lily has never been a stable one. Lily, we couldn't find the other. What did you do? You were fucking dead! Shit, the bomb! AJ! Ow. Oh, and that's how the episode is going to end. I mean, this is going to be a very short episode, which kind of sucks. Oh, 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 nope. Not letting the music play. You're not getting me on copyright again. So, 89% of players mercy killed Abel. Okay, that's fair. 49% players respected James' beliefs and killed no walkers. 49% only killed some of the walkers in James' camp, and 3% ignored wishes, <laughs> James's wishes and killed everything. Fair enough. 61% of players named the bomb Mitch's masterpiece, 13% went with Ruby's Revenge, 17% went with Willie Jr., and 6% had a bomb named AJ. Okay. 86% allowed AJ to attack Dorian, stopping her from cutting off her friend's finger. Okay. 53% of players told AJ to kill Lily. 47% refused to tell AJ to kill Lily. Okay. Now the question is, would AJ have done it on his own without me telling him to? Okay, so that's just all the same stuff again. Fair enough. James, MIA. Was thankful you respected his beliefs, spared the walkers, felt elated when you said there might be more to walkers, and was devastated when you told AJ to kill Lily. Yeah, I understand that. He has really good reasons to be devastated about that. At the same time, I kind of don't care, because Lily was in a position where she needed to be put down like she needed to be put down in season one i'm sorry she her mind snapped in season one that was evident when she killed carly like i mean honestly it was evident before that but it was especially evident when she killed carly so this is just long-term revenge for that if nothing else plus mutilating people Kidnapping them and forcing them to fight for your community. Forcing a sister to kill... Forcing a girl to kill her own sister. Like, no. You... You need to... Get rid of... Be gotten rid of. Lewis is MIA. Traumatized after the time spent with the Raiders. Yeah, having your tongue cut out would do that. And was consoled by your promise to take them home. Okay. Uh, Abel is dead. He felt assured when you promised him mercy. Well, that's nice. I guess. AJ, MIA. Oh, so everybody's just MIA now. Okay. Felt conflicted after you s killed Abel, sparing him from turning. He felt defeated when you said there was no way to prove you could be together as walkers. Felt powerful after you told him to shoot Lily. Okay. Ten was grateful when you stood up for him against Willie and grateful when you promised to tell Minerva he forgave her. I... Ten had no business being out there. I'm still confused why he was out there. His job was to get on the raft of supplies with Willie and float down the river. That's all he had to do. So why, would, why did he end up on the boat? I don't understand that. Minerva... She was stunned when you told her Marlon killed Brody. 
was dejected when you said 10 would be a shame to call her her sister and felt heartsick after learning 10 forgave her. Even though if 10 knew that she had killed her sister, 10 probably would not forgive her. Violet MIA. Violet was embarrassed when you didn't want to hear why she sent why she was sent to Erickson and was thankful when you let AJ stop Dorian from cutting off her finger. Well, yeah, that's a valid reason. Lily is dead. Was surprised by your offer to cooperate. Okay. State of the school. Omar and Asim are MIA. Rosie is worried about everybody. Well, that's fair. Willie was excited you wanted to name the bomb. Ruby was proud that you did not recognize her official Erickson evaluation. To be fair, she's apparently changed quite a bit. So, you know, that's good news. Poor Rosie. Oh. I missed four of the six items. So I missed a horseshoe, and apparently you're able to collect the wind chimes? Interesting. I didn't see that there was an option to do that, but okay. Is this just going to take us back to the the menu screen? I'm guessing. Probably. I can go ahead and at least unmute the uh, audio. But, yes. This just takes us back to the menu screen. Okay. Wow. I was right about it being a bit of an action-packed episode. I'm sorry that the episode is this short. Um, here, the first two episodes, they had gone back to doing like two and a half hours per episode. This one, they, they definitely made a lot shorter. It was a little over two hours. I'm wondering... I'm having to reach back in my memory. I think this is... This episode is around the same time that Telltale actually went bankrupt. And I think it was Skybound Games that came in and kind of saved the day by buying them up and finishing off episodes three and four. So I'm wondering if episodes three and four are going to be shorter because Skybound had to come in and kind of save the day, so to speak. So I'm wondering if episode four is also going to be kind of short or not. Well... I guess we'll discover that when we get to it, won't we? So, if you enjoyed the video, short as it was, give it a thumbs up. Help keep the YouTube overlords happy. If you want to make sure you don't miss out on any of the videos that I upload, like when I start up episode four of this game, or anything else that I happen to load up, like currently I'm also playing through the medium. Check that out if you haven't already. Uh, go ahead, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell. That way you know when I'm uploading videos. Till next time, thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And remember that life does get rough sometimes. So good luck, have fun, stay awesome. I'll catch you in the next one.